Hey Disney friends, it's Amber with Mickey Travels. Today I wanted to give you my top 10 non-character table service locations for dining at the Walt Disney World Resort. And these are going to be locations you can use the dining plan on. So let's go check out my list. I've put these in order. Uh, we're going to go from 10 to 1. Some I have split because I think they are very similar in style and types of food. So I just, there's maybe like 12 or 13 on here. So let's start with number 10, which is Weeches and Cream, which is located at the Beach Club Resort in the Epcot region. Weeches and Cream is a one table service credit. This is going to be number 10 on my list just because the price that you pay for the food here is similar to maybe a quick service location. However, it did make my list because of the dessert selection and because of just the good quality of food that you get here. This is gonna be a favorite amongst kids and adults and they have hamburgers and hot dogs and just some like 1950s diner Americana type food. Uh, the dessert that is probably the most popular is the kitchen sink, which is loads of ice cream and it retails for about $24.99 and it serves four people. It's huge and it's what they're known for. So Beaches and Cream, number 10. Number nine is a buffet located at the Fort Wilderness Campground. It is Trails End. Trails End features tons of Midwestern American home cooked type items and it is one table service credit. You can see here you get a large selection of foods. It is a buffet, it's all you can eat and they do offer a take home service with this. You can go in and fill a box and then take it back to your room if you just didn't want to eat in the restaurant itself. It's convenient because it is located uh, near the Magic Kingdom Resort so you can take a ferry from there to go dine here. It's not often crowded. That's very appealing for some people and it's just a food that most kids to adults can enjoy. There's something for everyone there and it's reasonably priced. I would consider using it for a table service credit. It's in the middle range though. It's not gonna be something that you're gonna be making money off of, say for other locations like I've discussed in other videos. So number nine, Trails End. Number eight is also located in the Magic Kingdom area. It is the Whispering Canyon Cafe. This is also an American restaurant. It is going to be at the Wilderness Lodge. You can take a ferry or a, you can take a ferry there from Magic Kingdom. You can also take a bus from Magic Kingdom if you wish. The type of food that's served here is going to be your classic barbecue meats. They also have a great breakfast. Item that is probably most popular is the all you can eat skillets. So they bring out any type of meat that you want with cornbread and your vegetables and just you can change your meat every time and they bring you another skillet. This restaurant is also known for having the ketchup brought to your table and a big to-do. That's because if someone requests ketchup, everyone at the whole restaurant will bring their ketchup bottle to your table. So it's a little show, but if you love barbecue and you love American food, this is a great use of for one table service credit. Number seven my, on my list is located in the Magic Kingdom Park. It is Liberty Tree Tavern. Liberty Tree has been a family favorite of ours for a while. We used to dine there when the characters actually were there. This is a colonial inspired restaurant that features, again, American cuisine. You might see a trend here. This list that I'm compiling is mostly from A, personal experiences, and then B, what my clients are telling me with their personal feedback on some of their favorites. It's difficult when you have a family with picky eaters to find something that everyone's going to enjoy. So I do have lots of American type foods on here, but later on in the list you're going to see some others as well. So back to Liberty Tree. Liberty Tree is going to be a family style restaurant. It's your classic turkey and pork and macaroni and cheese type food items. Everyone at the restaurant that works there is dressed the part since it is located in that part of the Magic Kingdom Resort where they have all the colonial inspired items. It's across from the Hall of Presidents if you're looking for it. It's kind of hidden. Reservations are typically easy to get, except for Thanksgiving, they do serve a special feast there. This is a one table service credit restaurant. So number seven, Liberty Tree Tavern. My number six I've tied with two of Animal Kingdom Lodge's restaurants, Boma and Sanaa, because they have the same type of foods. One, Boma is a buffet. These are both one table service credit, and Sanaa is a menu. The 
types of foods that they serve at the buffet are going to be African inspired, but they do have American choices as well. And Sanaa's just are known for the different types of items that they have available for you to try from different regions of Africa. Sanaa is known for their appetizer, which are the breads with a different, different sort of dipping sauces that you can put on them. Uh, both are very comparable in price. They're gonna be on the higher end of the table service credits. It's just, this is a restaurant that if you are wanting to try something new would be great, but if you have the picky eaters, maybe stay away from. Number six, Boma and Sanaa. Five on my list is a very big favorite for people of all ages at the Epcot Resort via Napoli. Via Napoli is known for their pizzas. They have a large variety of create your own pizzas. This is a one table service credit. Keep in mind that if you are dining here and you order a pizza that serves two, they are gonna charge you two table service credits. I got a picture here of a menu to let you see what kinds of different things you can put on your pizza. Definitely worth the table service credit there. It's loud a little bit and it is very crowded. So if you aren't into that, maybe look for a earlier or later dining reservation. You cannot see fireworks from this restaurant, but this is probably the best pizza on property. So number five, Via Napoli. Number four on my list is my personal favorite at Epcot. It is Teppan Edo located in Japan. It is a hibachi style show and food. You get the typical uh, meat and of your choice, probably two. I had chicken and steak last time I went, and then you get the lo mein noodles and the rice. Uh, this is a one table service credit, which is pretty awesome because it's one of the most expensive meals you can get with a table service credit. You're spending about $40 a person, so it's definitely worth it there. Um, and then you get the amusement and the show that comes with it with the chefs. Reservations are not very difficult for this. It is great if you have larger parties because you can all sit together and enjoy the show. So with the table service credit, you also get the dessert. So it's a lot of food and completely worth it. And we had a blast and I had a picture of my plate. So I forgot to take it. So it's like halfway through. So number four on my list, Teb and Edo at Epcot. Number three is the only two table service credit meal that I have on here. It is California Grill. And I didn't want to put a lot of two table service credits because those are more like fine dining and signature type restaurants that may not be family oriented. But I feel like California Grill has great food for everyone and then the view. So I kind of put it high up there. California Grill is located at the Contemporary Resort in the Magic Kingdom area. You can take it a, when you're at Magic Kingdom, you can take the monorail there or you can walk from Magic Kingdom to the Contemporary. The top floor, so that's why the views are the best, and even when you're not dining there during fireworks, they do give you a pass to go back to the roof to see the fireworks because you ate there that evening. Uh, they are known for their sushi, and but they do have various other types of items. So again, this is a two table service credit. So if you're running out of options and you wanna have probably the best sushi on property, then you wanna use your two table service credits here. However, if you are wanting to dine in tons of places and don't have that extra credit, my second suggestion for sushi would be Kona Cafe at the Polynesian. So that one is one table service credit if you wanna look into that. Number two on my list is our family favorite. It is the Sci-Fi Dine-In at Hollywood Studios. This is a one table service credit and is themed amazingly. You enter a studio, it looks like, and when you are escorted to the back, you are in a 1950s drive-in and you are dining in a car. And the food that they serve is not just your typical 1950s diner food that you would suspect. I had a steak and potatoes and it was excellent. And you can also have milkshakes here, which I think that do count as your drink. So that's a highlight. The amount of food that you get is plentiful and it's worth the one table service credit. We spent about $35 to $40 for our plates there with everything included and just the atmosphere itself and being able to watch the 1950s sci-fi movies while you are dining. It's just something we've done forever. So I highly recommend it to most of my clients. So number two is sci-fi dining. My number one choice, which if you've been watching my videos for quite a while, I rant and rave about this restaurant, um, Ohana at the Polynesian Resort. Ohana is one of the top that my clients request that is a non-character. Uh, Cinderella's Royal Table, be our guests, Chef Mickey's, and then Ohana are normally the ones that most guests are looking for. And I have been finding lately that reservations are harder and harder to get for Ohana. People are wanting to experience seeing the fireworks from there now. So people are dining at all hours of the day. So it's really hard to find reservations. 
So Ohana is a family style restaurant as well. You are served some appetizers at first, a salad, you get pot stickers, and you get some lo mein noodles and chicken wings, and then you're served on the skewers, the steak, the chicken, used to be pork, and the shrimp if you want it. They will serve your meat as you want it cooked. You just have to ask. Uh, there is a luau type show for the kids that goes on while you're being served. It's a large restaurant. Uh, you do have to wait quite a bit, even with a reservation, and it can get a little loud, but the food's amazing. We go every year now because it has become one of our family favorites. So number one, Ohana at the Polynesian Resort. One table service credit, completely worth it on the dining plan. I hope this helps. A lot of people are requesting me to do more dining videos because they just want to see what's out there. And I know the character ones are always the ones that go first. And if you're like me and you may not be with kids, you don't want to experience the characters and you want something a little more extravagant. I hope this list helped you out. If you have any questions about any of these, just feel free to comment below and I will get back to you. If you are interested in booking a Disney vacation and need some assistance, I'm also a Disney travel agent and I would be happy to help. My services are free when you book your trip through me and my prices are identical to Disney's. So it's like a helping hand on your trip for free. Thanks for watching guys and subscribing. I will talk to you all really soon. Have a magical day. Bye.